Hi guys. Bruh. What am I doing with my hand? Oh my god, I'm really sorry for being so awkward. I don't really make videos, so okay, let me just keep this hand down here because I hope everyone's doing really, really well. I thought I'd make a little video today of my glam get ready with me process because instead of looking like a lazy potato, I'm going to be getting ready today and getting my hair and makeup done for the first time in months. It's my friend's birthday and um, originally I wasn't going to go tonight, not to be a bad unsupportive friend, but I've been quarantining really strict for months. I haven't even seen my own family in like four or five months i only recently went back to coventry so i wasn't gonna go tonight but i looked online and gatherings of up to 30 people are allowed so i'm gonna go and this hand is excited for this video to finish because i'm like world's most awkward turtle and i'm sorry if this video is gonna be weird guys i don't know what i'm doing i actually don't know what i'm doing but i hope you guys enjoy this regardless <laughs> look but i wanted to talk about what lip shade we use because i always get this question on instagram about what lip combination and to be honest we use loads wait wait, wait. let me say it again <laughs> if you're a brown girl you'll feel my pain what's this supermodel oh <laughs> charlotte tilbury supermodel what did you look let me just show a oh, supermodel is a good color because it suits a lot of different skin tones the biggest problem with people who have melanin is the fact that the undertones never go so when you're trying to find a nice nudie kind of shade you want to use something that doesn't make your mouth area look gray so i love this shade this is the foundation we use but i'll let moomo talk about it because she's the profesh sometimes i mix neelan with like shades that are much darker much more tan i love mixing foundations because again it's really hard to find a foundation that matches exactly and, and to be honest i normally like my skin to look a bit more darker and glowy because exactly. i feel like loads of indians this is like one problem we have is we always want to look fairer don't agree <laughs> but then like i feel like so many girls when they're doing their makeup they want to use a shade that's too light for them just 100%. because it's the cool thing it always ends up making us look worse because we look gray we look ashy it just doesn't sit right on our skin so always just use your shade man she never has bad skin by the way you guys Lies. like even on a Lies. bad I have day a spot today. No, like one singular tiny little baby spot that you can barely notice look who it is <laughs> reunited we're getting ready to go to conan's party can't wait. I mean, I'm, I'm quite cash. I'm quite dressy. I'm not gonna lie, I went a bit over the top today just because I haven't got ready in months because of but COVID. Wait, 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 she looks absolutely stunning. I mean, <laughs> Manny's gassing me. Like, I'm I mean... feeling the fit. Hey guys, this is my final fit. I just thought I'd tell you where my outfit's from because I sorted this very last minute. I saw this scarf top thing online. I was on Instagram and I saw this brand called Saint. Giovanni Della Mode. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but I'm gonna link everything in the bio. I think this was £24. And then this bag is from the Bhutan. It's actually my first time using it. I like it, it's got a little red detail inside. My earrings are from ASOS. These were about, I wanna say £12. My necklace is from a brand called Nisho Designs. And I like it, it's just a gold choker. And then my trousers I got from like a army shop, like a, a army uniform shop. So yeah, I just thrifted these. And then my heels are my favorite G squared. They're called the Riri sandal because of the stripes on it.